Hello and welcome back to my newest SQL Server Quickie. Over the last four months I have talked about the various pessimistic isolation levels that SQL Server offers you. Pessimistic just means that the isolation of the various users is performed by acquiring locks. A select statement acquires a shared lock and a data modification statement acquires an exclusive lock. Besides pessimistic concurrency, SQL Server also offers us optimistic concurrency, which was introduced back with SQL Server 2005. In today's SQL Server quick hint, I want to talk about the isolation level, read committed snapshot isolation that is just an optimistic implementation of the pessimistic transaction isolation level read committed. Let's switch now over to the flip chart where I want to describe this isolation level to you in more detail. Let's talk now about the transaction isolation level read committed snapshot isolation. The idea behind optimistic concurrency is that a reader, a select statement, doesn't acquire a shared lock anymore. Imagine now we have a value A, B, C in our database and we have an update transaction which changes that value to X, Y and Z. When this happens, the update statement copies the old committed value of A, B, C into the version store. The version store in SQL Server is stored in DampDB. This means now, when another transaction reads some data, a select statement, that select statement just goes to the version store and reads that version which was valid at the beginning of the statement. In our case, the value of A, B and C. Therefore, your SELECT statement doesn't block anymore when you read a record which is currently changed. The most important thing about read committed snapshot isolation is that you have no dirty reads. SQL Server returns you the valid which was valid at the beginning of your statement, the value A, B and C. If you would get back the value of X, Y, Z, the uncommitted value, then you would have a dirty read. So that's very, very important. Read committed snapshot isolation doesn't provide you dirty reads. Let's switch now over to SQL Server Management Studio where I want to demonstrate this behavior to you. In this demonstration, I want to show you how you can use the optimistic transaction isolation level read committed snapshot isolation in SQL Server. First of all, you have to enable read committed snapshot isolation on the database level so that you can use this new isolation level. This is the only change that you have to make. There are no other application or code changes that you have to deploy in your database. As soon as you have enabled read committed snapshot isolation, your default transaction isolation level is read committed snapshot isolation. Very easy. In the next step, I begin a new transaction in the AdventureWorks 2012 database. Within that transaction, I update a specific row in the table production.product. We are changing the column reorder point from 750 to 1000. This means that the old value of 750 is copied over to the version store and other transactions that are reading from this table will get back this old value transparently from the version store. Let's switch now to a second session without committing our update transaction. In this second session, I try to read now some data from the same table. Normally, with pessimistic concurrency, the SELECT statement would block because it would try to acquire a shared lock and the shared lock is blocked by the exclusive lock from the other session.
But with weed committed snapshot isolation, you will get back immediately a result. The value of 750 taken directly from the version swap. That's the power of optimistic concurrency. You don't need to wait on a shelf lock because there are no shelf locks anymore. The most important thing to remember here is, is the fact that you don't deal here with a dirty read. You get back the old committed version from the version store. In our case, the value of 750. If you would get back the value of 1000, then you would have a dirty read. That is very important. Read committed snapshot isolation returns you the old committed version from the version store. Therefore, you have no dirty reads. If we now commit the first writing transaction and we rerun our reading transaction, you will see the new value of 1000. Therefore, you have no read stability because it's just the isolation level read committed but with an optimistic implementation under the covers. In this SQL Server Quickie, I have introduced to you the optimistic isolation level read committed snapshot isolation. As you have seen in the demonstration, read committed snapshot isolation is just an optimistic implementation of the pessimistic isolation level read committed. SQL Server uses internally the so called version store to return back the version which was valid at the beginning of your select statement. Therefore, you have no read stability because someone else can change the data in the meantime when you read it multiple times within your transaction. In my next SQL Server Quickie, I will talk about the optimistic isolation level snapshot isolation that also provides you a read stability. Stay tuned until the next time.